All right. So it's about time somebody does a real review of Madden 2012. I'm going to start off a game that I'm currently winning. Steelers versus, versus um, the Chiefs. And then click resume game. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you guys what what EA is doing with Madden. So gameplay, honestly the gameplay is pretty smooth. I'm, I can't complain about that. Um, my complaint, however, is that it seems like it's the same game year after year. Um, Madden on my PS3 is a lot different. Granted, it's a console game. I'll give it that. But Madden on the iPhone, compared to games like Infinity Blade... You know, I can't I can't even do an offside call against myself because it stops you in the line. Um So that's that's part of my problem too. I don't I don't like some of the I guess not very much attention to detail. And the, the weak tackling, I mean, it's so bad. My worst complaint, the, my biggest complaint with this game is running. I'm going to pick a running play every, every play. Watch what happens. Okay. I actually got a yard that time. That's, that's better than usual. I think this game, you know, after playing it every year, this year it should be worth 99 cents. Because honestly, it's terrible. You know how in Madden 2011, even if you suck at the game, you could at least get two, three yards? This one, there's no way. You, you'll be lucky to get a yard. So, on offense, every single play you do is a pass play. Um, in my opinion, I think the game's clunky. It's a piece of junk. They didn't put much detail into it. Um, and overall, I would have to give this at a five stars, I'd give this a quarter of one star. I mean, it's it's disgusting. It's disgusting that every single year they make these games. This isn't the PSP anymore. This is the iPhone. You've got phones with one gig processors like the iPhone, Androids, and this is the best EA can come up with. It's miserable. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm never going to buy another Madden game again unless it changes. I also wish this game had some kind of game center that it could hook up with game center. I don't like their, uh, let's see, their crappy origins. Um, I'm going to pause the game here. Or, or, uh, origins idea. Um, I'm going to just quit it. It's it's really kind of dumb. It doesn't really do anything. Um, even the controls to quit the game. I mean, it's it's painful. It's it's not a very well put together game. So they add origins up here. Add friends. Connect through Facebook. Connect with Google. Contacts. Invite friends. You can invite people to the game and connect with them on Facebook and find people. Go through your contacts, which is great. But I would much rather they would just use the Game Center. All my friends that I play with are already on Game Center. You can't play a multiplayer game with this. Um, I just don't even see the point of having it, a, um, of coming up with yet another online um, friend maker, you know, to try and link up with other, other video game, um, other people that are playing the same game. In my opinion, not necessary. Game mode. Exhibition season and playoffs. I like the playoff option. Um, adding that, that's really cool. 
But again, no way to play multiplayer, except on Bluetooth. And that's, you know, that's kind of dated. Nobody plays games over Bluetooth anymore. Um, they are sending out push updates. <clears throat> um, Monday, Monday evenings before the game, Sundays before the game start, just, you know, trying to get some, some hype built up for Madden. But honestly, I gotta say this game sucks. I, I can't stand that you can't run. You can't run the ball. Um, six out of seven pass plays are going to be completed, even if the guy's, like, double covered. Um, yes, I understand it's on a phone. My problem with that, though, is when you look at games like Infinity Blade... It becomes extremely difficult to defend EA. Taking a little while to load here. Probably because of how many things I have open. There we go. But look at that. This is Infinity Blade. Um, what's another game on here? Another game I would compare it to would be even EA's own own FIFA game. It's just like way, 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 way better than than Madden is Madden's terrible I, I can't I can't stress that point enough it is probably one of the most overpriced games I've ever played it's buggy it's laggy it has no updates over 2011 that I feel like are even worth an upgrade they should just release a a a small one megabyte file and have you download that to the old 2011 game for for 99 cents for, for, actually probably for 50 cents because it's it's pretty bad um yeah you know look at this one this is a soccer game FIFA 2011. This local dispute is always played with daggers drawn. There's bad blood between the rival fans. But what an atmosphere it creates. There is no other occasion quite like it. Fabregas. Chance here. Our first of the ball is the goalkeeper. Honestly. Thought actually went into that game. That's... Not I can't can't say the same for uh, for Madden 2012. If you have not bought this game and you're looking at the review right now, don't even bother. Go buy Madden 2011, save your money. Hopefully Madden 2013 will be better, or maybe EA will listen for once and actually do something about Madden 2012 and release a huge upgrade. This game is terrible. Um, you can look at the reviews on iTunes. Most people are giving it maybe two stars. Um, it's just, in my opinion, not worth the money. I'd say save it. Um, so that's my review on EA Madden 2012. Um, I was hoping Gameloft was going to release a game. Their game seemed to, uh, you know, as far as football games get, go, in my opinion, they're just as good, if not better. Um, and if you got any comments, feedback, I'd love to hear it. Um, again, thanks again for watching.